and is not being withheld Sorry, because of the political interests of the ministers concerned. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker. I call Todd Muller. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And rise to take a short call to speak against the Ombudsman Cost Recovery uh, Amendment Bill. Now, I'm not uh, uh, one of these uh, MPs who rush uh, every day, every um, uh, time it's uh, members' bill draw time to see the biscuit tin being shaken, but I know a number of people, a number of my colleagues do on both sides of the House. Uh, but what I can assure the House is that uh, when uh, the particular tin was shaken a few weeks ago and uh, this uh, particular bill fell out, uh, my learned uh, colleague David Parker was not watching the, uh, the tin, uh, waiting in bated breath to see if his opportunity to make a difference in a New Zealand political situation was <laughs> going to appear. In fact, he was uh, sitting right beside me, uh, uh, Mr Chair, Mr Speaker, uh, and I don't know who was more shocked when he got the email that um, uh, his, or, or, sorry, more pleased or shocked or both. Uh, he had to recall, uh, did, I, did I have something in there? Uh, <laughs> what, what, what was it? When did I put it in there? And some, I could see some scurrying of papers as he sort of got his head around the fact that five years ago uh, he was motivated to take... Uh, Take, uh, it seemed a long time ago anyway, 2012 according to these notes, which you know they come from you know, our communications team, so I'm sure 100 per cent accurate. Uh, but um, the point is, uh, uh, Mr uh, uh, Speaker, that um, you know, here we are having a conversation around a potential resolution which I think uh, most of us would agree is uh, trying to uh, find a solution to a problem that uh, arguably uh, uh, might have existed five years ago when the Ombudsman's office was under, uh, you know, arguably a bit of pressure in terms of funding. But I think uh, one can uh, cogently argue that events and budget investment have subsequently uh, taken this particular issue over uh, and resolved many of the concerns uh, uh, my honourable colleague, uh, Mr Parker, had when he took to his pen all those years, uh, years ago. Uh, and um, in particular, uh, sir, the uh, increase of spending that we have uh, had already uh, discussed here um, uh, from, uh, is lifted by 67 per cent from 9 million to 15 million, but particularly, uh, I think, and we heard it uh, uh, discussed by my colleague uh, Paul Foster Bell, there has not only been an increase in funding, which has resulted in the backlog, which was real, uh, uh, has been addressed largely and certainly will be largely cleared, I understand, by, the end, by, by uh, June 2018, which is a, a year faster than planned. But as often is the case, it's not just the money and the increased funding that has gone to the office that has made a difference. It has been the change in both people and process uh, that has lifted uh, the productivity uh, of the Ombudsman office. Uh, and uh, my colleague uh, Paul Foster Bell stepped us through that. But for completeness, I think the focus on uh, early resolution uh, and more flexible practices, that makes uh, a whole lot of sense, and particularly the uh, drive to um, having um, you know, electronic and uh, phone engagement as opposed to necessarily always having to pack up and go and visit people uh, um, you know, face to face. And the specialised uh, staff that has come on board that uh, Paul Foster Bell uh, spoke so eloquently to, I think has, uh, uh, has certainly assisted. Uh, and also putting um, the, uh, um, the process, making it more visible to the public by uh, putting it out uh, on the website um, and creating a greater understanding uh, amongst agencies with respect to the guides and the role of the Ombudsman uh, and how it, uh, uh, how it progresses. So, uh, Mr uh, uh, Speaker, the other area that I've been uh, impressed with was the stat that now 70% of uh, uh, complaints are resolved within three months of receipt. I mean, that doesn't talk to a, um, an office that is uh, critically underfunded. Indeed, it talks to an office that uh, was under pressure, has uh, had significant increase in funds relative to the initial budget, uh, employed uh, more appropriate and specialised people, 
rationalised and improved their processes and are delivering a result that uh, well, I think any measure is effective uh, and we have got a, a good outcome. So I think the attempt had merit uh, all those years ago, uh, Mr Parker, but now, uh, in my view, uh, events, funding, uh, events and funding have over overtaken this as an issue. And so therefore I don't see any reason to support the bill. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I call Fletcher Tabato. Uh, thank you, sir. I